trading and Areola's getting oh. better. Ruiz is hurt again. Andy's Side by side with the whole shot, it's gonna be Rossi on the break. Rossi's gonna be Good afternoon, it's possible right on Super Screen Television. How are you doing? It's a public holiday right here. I say Baraka de Salah to all our Muslim faithfuls. Yes, I'm very sure you're enjoying the holidays. It's a three-day long holiday yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And I'm very sure you'll be at home enjoying uh, your very best right on television, especially on Super Screen TV. Falcons, but before I do that, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Prince Loviesa, and they call me the Vuk. It's the sponsor of right on Super Screen TV, and I'm going to be doing it solo as other guys are engaged with one assignment or the other. The big story this afternoon is the Super Falcons eventually qualified for the Olympic Games right here in Paris after 16 years jinx yes the last time they did it was 2008 and there have been a lot of congratulatory message pouring in the nigerian football supporters club has been saying so much the minister of sport have also been saying so much but the big kudos goes to the supporters club in south africa who actually did us proud by representing the nigerian football supporters club right there in the ls park in south africa this afternoon we also take a look at um key issues as it affects um a lot of areas in athletics and the president of the Nigerian Basketball Federation is actually sending out a very strong felicitation message to all Muslim faithful and asking us to stay as one in unity. We'll take you around the world of athletics like I said earlier on. We'll also look at transfers as they come in the this in the news and um, we're talking tough. There's no apparent as it says we're scared of not bad but the south african coach is giving a lot of reasoning why they lost again that nil nil after the one goal the Super falcons had as an advantage when they came to abuja courtesy of the penalty converted by um ajibadi well um the champions league is right on hot spot it was a draw game for the two games we had yesterday which saw the arsenal and uh, Bayern Munich having it 2-2 uh, right there in Spain. It was Real Madrid and uh, Man City having it 3-3. So it's going to be a bumper package. Let's start from the home front where the Super Falcons actually made us proud. And a lot of people were actually skeptical. Yes, they were skeptical that would the Super Falcons actually take us to the El Dorado. Having lost out in Syria. Falcon should greet and that since 2008 we've not actually made it to the various Olympics that came up. When the first leg actually came up, a lot of people felt to come up. But what happened? It ended one nil, and the second leg was a hot night which was yesterday tuesday right there at the ellis park against all odds nigerians trooped out to showcase their solidarity for the falcons and it was a game of wit and might 
it was a game where take it or you leave it the Super Falcons didn't really bring their A game but they defended pretty well and there are a lot of sore points which you need to look into proper where a lot of top nations will be right there in Paris just some couple of months from now in June so we, we, we want to actually believe that what, what next but that as it may let's quickly take the congratulatory message as sent by the Nigeria Football Supporters Club uh, through its chairman yes I'm talking about Reverend Ikbeya he actually sent a message after that game congratulating the Super Falcons on the feat they've just achieved um, let me quickly get it out speaking at the club uh, Reverend Ikbeya congratulating the Super Falcons for doing the needful to qualify for the Paris Olympic Games in 16 years they've not done it but suddenly it has come big thank you to the members of the Nigeria Football Supporters Club right there in South Africa and the neighboring countries for turning up to support our girls to the art of Nigeria and we also congratulate the Minister for of Sports and Development Honorable John Eno for his unflinching support yeah. you will actually agree with me that it took a long stride when you consider the qualification but that as it may they were pointers we saw within the game that came up yesterday that the Super Falcons had and I am going to be looking at six of them which is a very key area that we need to work on even that we've gotten the ticket to be in Paris um, the team itself need a lot of beef up good enough the home girls that joined the team the few of them showcase what they are made of but the coach I'm talking about wild drum need to take certain things back and work on them and one of them is the act we, it ended one day. We threw away a lot of chances. We, we had bad crosses that didn't really make sense. But when we got to South Africa, it was worse. We came to play a defensive game. We were fortunate that we had it all through. Um, we've not been scoring plenty of goals. More so, creating these chances has been elusive. And converting them has been something of story for another day. Two, game management. Key. In creating stability and finding weak links in opponents, we've not actually done this. Yesterday's game shows that our midfield wasn't too um, consolidated. Ajibade did the human's job all throughout. If not for the effort of um, the goalkeeper, it was something else that would have been uh, a bigger storyline. The tactical input from the bench was near zero. For a most time where the coach made changes, it was done because those changes had to be taken care of. The flanks and the fullbacks need more defense solidarity. If you look at that game, the South Africans were over us all throughout. Significantly, the pace of the game in context of movement was very slow from the defense to the attack. We were not actually mobile. We were just dogged. We, 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 we just felt like let's held the ball. Uh, one or two passes, we lose the game. But the resilience of the defense gave that game to us. There is quality in the Nigerian team, no doubt about that. We need to go back and look at what it takes to actually get this team going. All said and done, what next? A proper total home breed with a mixture of the foreign breed should be brought to camp early enough so that we can start preparation. And either you like it or not, there are other countries that are actually watching us just the way we're watching them. But that as it may, a big congratulations to the Super Falcons for doing the needful and for giving us the ticket to be in Paris. Okay, quickly away from that, let's come down straight to something quite interesting. Um, we are still celebrating the Super Falcons victory, but that as it may, just over the weekend, we heard that the future Eagles called under 15 were denied visa, and a lot of mouths and critics asked what was the reason. But as I speak with you this afternoon, a note came out from the Spanish embassy claiming that a couple of days before the traveling time, they actually withdraw the application. Let me quickly read that. Our Consulate General in Lagos has gone through the cases and wishes to inform you that the application, the applicants will draw the application at the Consulate on Monday 8th of April. So, who is to blame? Now, the bottom line is, could you actually ascertain if truly this team was funded? Could you actually actually going to Spain 
for a futuristic event because the Spanish consulate denied the under 15 national team visa to go to Spain. Now, why are we picking up these stories? At times, when you sabotage a nation, it becomes a situation whereby um, sincerity and transparency comes to play. Who actually submitted the application need to be known. Who actually wrote to withdraw the application need to be known. These are young ones who should be nurtured, who should have a clear cut thought of playing for the national team at this age. If we begin to propagate issues of hide and seek at this time in time, then it simply shows that we're not sincere. For the Spanish consulate to have told us that earnestly an application was made and earnestly that application was raw simply shows that somebody somewhere uh, within the shadow did all this. So a thorough investigation needs to be carried out. Um, very well, we all know that the NFF Secretariat is operating, even if we don't have a board right now, but that as it may, um, you could see it right there. Players and officials of the Nigerian defeated future Eagles have been denied visa by the Spanish Embassy and will therefore not be traveling to take part in the UEFA under 16 development tournament starting on Friday. But the consulate has just responded that yes, they got that application, but somebody withdrew that same application at the consulate on Monday, 8th of April. No one has denied them visa. So if you applied and you were not given, that simply means that you don't want to go. But we need to get to the bottom of this case because it's a question of somebody blackmailing somebody and it's not too good for our national identity.